All right. Greetings to you all as well. There, I tried something that's not time zone specific. <laughs> all right, looks like everyone's piling in. Went ahead and dropped the Google Doc link in the chat in case you don't have that pulled up. While well, everyone is finding their way into this week's meeting, please go ahead and add yourself to attendees. We'll give it just another minute or two to see who else is going to make it in. Do we have anyone on the call right now who is new or maybe has not um, introduced themselves before? If so, I'd invite you to say hello. We would love to greet you. I'll go really quick. I'm Mark Lavi from Paston. I may have introduced once before, but uh, I'm the open source product manager, and uh, we have adopted Kubevert for helping break back up persistent workloads. Very cool. Welcome, Mark. Glad to be here. Thank you. Of course, if anyone wants to add anything to agenda notes, open floor, or anything else, please feel free to. We're about to hit that five minute mark and we'll get things started. All right. Well, welcome everyone to this week's Kubert community meeting. My name is Kat Morgan. I will be your host. And of course, as always, the agenda is open to the community so that you can add things that are of interest to you for us to discuss. Um, we will get to pull requests, mailing list review for conversations that maybe need some additional dialogue and bug scrubs towards the end. If you uh, want to call any of those out specifically, please go ahead and drop those below. Uh, with that, um, it looks like, Andrew, you have a plan to archive this document and replace it with a, a new one to record meeting notes. Is there anything more to that? Uh, not so much. Um, I'm hoping it will be seamless. Um... So yeah, I'll uh, I'll try and do it while everyone's not paying attention. And um, yeah, I guess the only people that this will affect that won't just uh, people that have this uh, for whatever reasons the minutes bookmarked somewhere. So I won't be able to update that. But um, yeah, the meeting link and I'll link to the new document at the top of this when it does get archived. Um, yeah, I might have to do the same thing with the Zoom meeting, which might have a larger impact. I'm not sure. Um, okay. Apparently, they expire, and this expired a little while ago. We can continue to use it, but it's no longer appearing in a, in a specific Zoom calendar. So um, I'm still getting to the bottom of that one. But just thought I'd give you a heads up. Great. Do we know who owns the current minutes? Because we could actually mark them as uh, comment only after it's time to switch. Uh, we do. It's actually owned by Pet. Which is one of the reasons I, like <laughs> I see, right then. 
uh, the other the other reason being is that it's like really big and it has tremendous loading issues. And I don't know if, if that's just me or everyone else, but sometimes it um, can get painful. Oh, now you've got me. It might make sense to do that on an annual basis going forward. Definitely. Eight five twenty twenty. That was a minute ago. All right. Well, thank you for taking care of us on that, Andrew. Let's see. Um, Cooper, CSI driver status. Do you want to go ahead and speak about that? Yeah. Hi, guys. I hope you can hear me. So um, at Kubermatic, we are quite interested in this project, uh, CSI driver. And I was wondering what's what is the current status if it's something that we can use for production already? I see there is no release yet. And the other question is if first official release is possible before the end of the year, do you know something about that project, some details? Uh, for reference, maybe I can post a link talking about that. Hey there. Yeah, I I um just pinged the person that I know who's working on that the most. Um, but yeah, so what are you looking for? Just releases? Um, or yeah, just... I just I just I just wonder if anybody is using this already for uh, let's say maybe production or so. Um, well, we're definitely um, using it. Um, well, yeah, I I can't talk speak much to production, but it's definitely we're developing it and we have plans for it for like the um downstream in the um like hypershift project i see and i saw there are some references to openshift uh, like i saw that containers that are responsible to register the csi driver are coming from the openshift repository so does it mean in the future you will have a constraint that is going to mostly work with openshift openshift only without kubernetes or <laughs> No, I mean, that, if that's the way it is now, I'm sure, well, it's temporary. Uh, OK, so I, I guess I would have to ping on Slack Alexander Wells, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I told him to join, but I don't know if he'll if he'll be here. But yeah, he's um, he's probably the person that uh, could help you the most getting uh, upstream build and all that. Um, can I ask if you plan to use it with uh, Cap? So um, cluster API um, provider for Qbert, because I think that's uh, the upstream project for what is. Uh, uh... No, we, we, we don't plan to use it with Kafka. It's, okay. it's a different project. We have Kubernetes. We have our own uh, okay. components and toys, let's put it that way. Uh, but we need to provide storage for, uh, for uh, Qbert nodes, right? Because we have very similar project like Hypershift. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are a little bit blocked by storage mm -hmm. and how we can bring storage into nodes without exposing uh, some storage networking directly to user clusters or tenant clusters. Yeah, it's my understanding that the recent work that has been going on there is um, Kubert CSI originally, the tenant clusters would call into the uh, infra cluster. And with Hypershift, they want to switch things around where. Um, basically the tenants don't um directly access the like you know api server and the infra cluster oh, yeah I, I saw that already that happened i think yeah. there was a pull request from david right that to split infra uh, pull yeah. request something like that right so yeah, yeah it, it's just a matter right now uh how well tested this is and uh, i mean the whole the csi driver yeah, and uh, when it can be released, if it's possible by the end of the year. But since Alexander is not here, I... yeah, I think I think one thing Alexander was working on was getting the like upstream the CSI sanity tests working on that. Um, I don't know the status of it though. Oh, I just see that there is a new. Can you hear me? Open. Ah, uh, yeah, we can. Yes. Uh, all right. So. Um, I've implemented um, the basic CSI sanity test, which is essentially a unit test. 
And I've also implemented um, the uh, upstream Kubernetes uh, CSI test suite. I see. And I, I just saw that you op somebody opened a pull request uh, through this uh, release GitHub action, right? So I, I guess the first release, Alexander, is possible possible by the end of the year, right? Or not? Um, I would think so. Uh, OK. Good, yeah. OK. OK, so I, I guess that's it from my side. Thanks. And Alexander, there shouldn't be any like OpenShift dependencies on Kubert CSI, right? It should be correct. Some... correct. Okay. Uh, but I, sorry, I just want to ask, maybe not OpenShift, but there are any explicit reference to Kapk? Because I mean, that's the upstream project. Are we just targeting Kapk or is it something generic? The the testing is using uh, Kapk. Uh to spin up the tenant cluster for, for the tests. Because I mean, I, I perceive at the end is relying on Kafka upstream. So, I mean, this project might be tied to Kafka and that's my question. If, uh... I, I hope it's not gonna be because we are not using yeah, Kafka. Yeah, that's why I'm, uh, I'm asking. I'm, it, it... I think it will be a great topic for many list. Uh... So we we uh, we have the tests running with that, but there's there's no like code dependencies on it. It it can run you know if you manually create your tenant clusters uh, or you know, have some other mechanism, it, it should work. Um, and, and in fact, I I just uh, created a PR to allow you to use customize to you know set up your. Um, deployments uh, with for specific environments to hopefully make it easier to be independent of, of whatever we're using in our development environment. Okay. Uh, I have one more question because I saw there is the issue with uh, topology constraints. If you're, for instance, using local storage or so, uh, right. is anybody currently looking into this issue or? Uh, uh, I don't think so. I, I, okay. I just noticed it while I was uh, running some tests, so. Okay. Thanks. All right. And a notice from Andrew Burden, of course, that KubeCon EU CFP uh, closing date is this coming Friday. So if you have any meeting, uh, any uh, proposals or talks um, that you would like reviewed or we're planning to submit, be sure to bring that up and get those submitted and we will support you however we can. If you have questions about any of that, feel free to reach out and um, we'll, we'll make sure you have uh, answers as best as we can. And let's see. SIG storage. Um, Andrew, do you want to speak about that? Yeah. Um, so I've been talking to some people uh, representing the SIG storage, predominantly people working, you know, just for storage, such as Alexander and Michael, um, looking to start a fortnightly meeting, um, SIG storage meeting. Uh, so it's going to be, oh, I didn't put the day on. Uh, Monday at two o'clock Central European time, which is, I think, 8 a.m., um us eastern time is that correct yes um uh, starting on probably december 5th um unless you know well it will start december 5th unless there's uh, any reason to dissent or change the date um so i'm setting up those meeting details now so just giving people time to um yeah add that to their calendar and, and whatnot so it'll be our second sig meeting um for Qbert. Cool. Andrew, I'll ping you on Slack. I, I would like to get an invite to that meeting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um uh yeah. Sure. Let me yeah, better to ping me. Absolutely. All right, we'll do thanks. It, it will appear in our Qbert calendar though. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. 
All right, and there I was talking on mute. Um, yeah, are we also going to mail out a um, uh, a notice to the mailing list once all that's set up? Yeah, I'll, I'll send that. Well, I'll send it out today. Just um, similar to this, just as kind of like a here's this has been proposed, just to let people know. And um, yeah, if no one has any reasonable reasons to continue, yeah. then I'll set it up and send out a hey, it's a thing now. Cool, you know. awesome. So yeah, be sure and and watch the mailing list for that. Okay, let's see. Let's jump into pull requests. Looks like an extra reviewer would be helpful. Six minutes ago, CC'd Vladek. All right, so in that case, assuming Vladek's able to make it to paying attention to that, we should be good. Thank you. All right, and then um, Andrew, do you want to talk about Fostum or anything? Uh, just have? in that, um, so this links to the um, the mailing list thread, which has a tremendous amount of information. That, um, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> um, but too long, don't read, didn't read, is that uh, Fostum is happening, it's happening first. Uh, weekend of February. Um, you do have to log into Pentabuff um, in order to, to submit. So that's probably the only the only real gotcha. Um, the Burton IAS dev room is open until I think CFP uh, December 10th. Um, so yeah, if you've got any. Now I, I will um, warn people that the um, this dev room is only, it's a half day dev room. I think in the past it's been a full day dev room. And so um yeah, the the proposal times will be limited. Got it. Um be sure and check that out. Thank you, Andrew. And it looks like all that we have left for today then is bug scrub. Oh, sweet. I haven't responded to this. Solution, service monitor. I'm curious what our doc's status is for Prometheus stuff. Anyone on the call have um, any experience building out the Prometheus monitoring? As mine is definitely 101 level. I don't think she's here, but I would ask Shirley. Uh, would it be appropriate to CC? Do you know their handle? You know, off the top of my head, I'm not sure on GitHub. It's but uh, it's S Radco is her her user ID. I wonder.
Got it. Thank you. And let's see. Race detected. Um, has anyone been running the go test recently? Or might someone expect to have eyes on this soon? Oh, um, can, yeah. can I get you to copy the template and cop paste the template and then change the date rather than going over the template? Uh, no, I did. The template All right, sorry. There. Sorry. Okay, I am going to... Okay, we will be sure and check that again next week. Make sure it doesn't stay idle. And see what we got next. days ago and do we typically just resolve these things over time as we work towards a new release or what is the actual like procedure for handing handling the CVEs and go oh 
don't know if we have that documented. We probably do, but I have not looked that up before. And is there anyone I can CC on it or assign it to? And Alpine container disk demo, kernel not compatible with AMD, Zen 3 microarchitecture. That's a fun one. Um, let me think. The disk images. Where is the repo where that uh, some of the default images have been getting built in lately? It's been a minute since I looked that one up. I, I don't know. I think just just the answer. Yeah, thanks. Container disks. There it is. Okay. All right. And that gets us through the bug scrub list. Um, if anyone is able to address uh, one of the two that we didn't have any progress on or responses for today, that would be greatly appreciated. Of course, uh, this is your opportunity to speak up if you have any um, any last minute ads to the agenda or otherwise um, just want to share a piece of news or a crazy offhand idea with the group that uh, doesn't have to be official in the agenda just for fun. Going once, going twice. I'll add one little thing, Kat. <laughs> Go for it. So I was at KubeCon and I went over to basically the open little space where where uh, KubeVert had a, a booth, you know, a one person booth and, and sat down and I basically had one question, which was, how do I learn a little bit more about the roadmap? And the answer was, go take a look at the epics in, I think it was Red Hat's Jira. Is that fair to say? Was that, did I get that takeaway properly? 
We're working on that. Uh, at this point, the uh, public or the project has been rendered public. And so mm -hmm. the idea is that, yes, we want to do roadmap items in JIRA. However, we've also been doing them in GitHub as well, because that is oh, okay. you know, completely open. So uh, usually if we have an Epic, it will have a link to roadmap issue uh, that will reference usually a GitHub uh, link. But I do have to admit that we're very early in this process. There's okay. probably going to be large gaps of things that were just uh, rendered internal by default because we hadn't had a chance yet to inspect it and make sure there wasn't anything silly we should be saying there. Okay, so that's just a work in progress. Now I understand. Thank you. And uh, if I can add to that, I'd suggest that our, our capacity to provide a Kubert roadmap will be um, made I want to say more possible, probably possible um, after our next release and we start having only three releases a year rather than 12 releases a year because it'll be a bit easier to kind of like, you know, gauge. You know, yeah, future understand. Milestone. Makes sense. Thank you. Good question, Mark. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. All right. With that, uh, thank you all for, or uh, you know what, Andrew, uh, it's still early. Do you want to tell us anything about KubeCon? Um, I'm probably the worst person to ask because I was more or less on the um, the showroom floor the entire time, either uh, helping out with the um, the Qvert booth or looking for our lost uh, boxes of swag, which turned up, but uh, oh still, as far as I know, uh, missing in action or helping out with the um, some of the Red Hat stuff. So yeah, I mean, I can tell you that it was a um, it was a very big floor, well spaced. Um, uh, yeah, um, having a, I can give you a, a kiosk report, which is, um, I think it was really good to have a space for people like Mark to come and find us and, and talk to people specifically about Qubit rather than the past trying to like, you know, going to other people's booths and trying to strike up a conversation with that. So, <laughs> um, I suspect that's something, sure. well, I'm, I'm very keen to do that again for the next one, except probably rather than I go the half day, go for the full day. Um, very yeah. good. All right, well, thank you for sharing. And with that, I will go ahead and adjourn the meeting. Thank you all. See you same time, same place next week. Thank you. Thanks, Kat. Bye. Bye. Thank you.